Hello and welcome back. So today we've got a very different video because we're going to be reviewing clothes and shoes, something that's very rarely going to happen on the channel, something I've never done before, but since it's based on a television property, quite possibly my favourite of all time, got to do a little video on it just to have a look at what we've got here. So where, where shall we start? Because we've got two pairs of shoes, a jumper, hoodie and a cap. Let's start with the cap since it's Nice and easy, so it's bright yellow baseball cap with that iconic kind of Krusty Burger branding on the front. I wonder if uh, they should have a scent on it which makes it smell like the rib wedge. That actually, no, I don't want to stink like that. So, cap fits nice and comfortably. You know, I've got a really fat head, so got it on three buttons and there's plenty of room. So if you've got a big head, don't worry about it. It'll fit perfect. Uh, it's only one size to do in it as well, but I like it. Looks very nice, very Simpson-y with the yellow. Next is the hoodie. So on the front, it's got just got the Vans off the wall logo in a kind of Simpson-y font style. Down the right hand sleeve, we've got the family. Don't know if we can see that. So Homer. Marge, Bart, Lisa and Maggie and then on the back is the family. Now in terms of sizing for the hoodie I had to get a size up from what I would usually get because obviously with it being a hoodie you want it a little bit baggy and it was the size below which would be my normal size was just a little bit too snug so Went with the bigger size, so if you're getting an idea of sizing for this one, plus if you want to wear something like a jumper underneath it in the winter, or a long t-shirt and a normal t-shirt underneath if you're really, really cold, then this hoodie is also perfect because it's very, very warm and fluffy inside. Tried wearing this in the 18 degree heat, did not go well, spent most of the day with it around my waist. But yeah, I just love the picture of them sitting on the couch, uh, also used on the season one DVD cover. So I'd highly recommend the hoodie, which has a retail price of £65 here in the UK. So pop it down there. And the cap is also has a retail price of £28. Now, first pair of shoes, uh, I love the box in these. I don't usually keep shoe boxes, but these are these are a keeper. Got Simpsons Vans, got the house, power plant. Lord Lads and Moors, even got Chief Wiggum's car outside there. And then inside, got the sofa. And this pair is the old schools, I believe they're called, themed around Moors Tavern. So on the kind of like inside of the shoe, this is the right shoe, you've got that. Then on the, so obviously like the windows for Moors, then on the outside, on this shoe, on the right, you've got Homer and Barney. Uh, leather around there, uh, like a normal kind of material for the back of the shoe, so it doesn't cause any rubbing, because I was very kind of cautious when buying these, because I had a pair of these bad boys, which I've worn about three times, because they are the most uncomfortable things I've ever bought, but they're really nice for display, but the material on the back kind of rubbed against my feet too much, so... As I say, very sceptical, but I've worn them two days now and they are very, very comfortable. So, yep, right shoe, we've got Homer and Barney. And on the left shoe, we've got Lenny, Carl and Mo. And then it's got Moe's written on the back. And obviously nice yellow laces to match the theming of The Simpsons here. In terms of size and for these shoes I had to get a half size smaller than usual you usually get a UK 9 but with these uh, I had to get a UK 8.5 plus you know shoes like these you wear trainer socks with them not big thick socks so yeah half a size smaller for these for these ones obviously I don't know how that would be for everyone else or if you would get the normal size and then my favourite pair and I think quite possibly my favourite piece of this Simpsons merch uh, Yep, same box, just bigger. It is the Mr. Plough Winter Boot. Oh, forgot to say as well, for Moe's, 
they retail at £70, but if you're a student like myself, you can get discount uh, 10% off a shoe, so I'm not even on commission with them here, I'm just saying it's a good bargain if you can get it. And then the Mr. Plow shoes here retail at £100, so we've got Mr. Plow, which is very annoying because the number for Mr. Plow is KL5. 3223 on here, but in the shorts, 3226. I know that's really, really nerdy and all that, but nope, not happy, but I can live with it. And then obviously, you've got the fleece of Homer's Mr. Plow jacket around here. Uh, plenty of fleece inside the shoe, so that'll keep us really, really warm in the winter. Got Mr. Plow written on the back and the jingle, Mr. Plow. That's my name, that name again is Mr. Plow, which I've got established 1989, which works for the show, but I believe the Mr. Plow episode from season four would have been around, what, 92, 93-ish? Uh, somewhere around there, so maybe they should have put that date on of when the Mr. Plow episode aired, but I'm being a bit too nitpicky here. These are really, really cool shoes. Uh, they've got really nice design on them as well. All nice material, very, they feel very durable to wear in the winter, so very kind of grippy soles as well. And then, obviously, same on the other shoe. So these are, I think they've done a brilliant job doing a range for the Simpsons with fans. Because uh, obviously the last kind of pair I had was the David Bowie range, I wasn't particularly struck on the other clothing and merchandise they did but these just had us but unfortunately I find them unwearable so it's a good thing I found the Simpsons range uh, very very comfortable every piece of merch I got from it so the hoodie the hat the two pairs of shoes lovely designs all comfortable uh, you've got kind of casual wear for the Moe's shoes, really nice in the summer with a pair of shorts, you can see everything. Mr. Plough shoes, brilliant for the winter, keeping warm, very... They look quite formal in a way, obviously, apart from the picture of Homer on the side, but, you know, they look like a really nice winter boot, so they'll certainly keep us warm in the cold northern months of December. And, yep, that's it for this video. Whether this has been helpful or not, I don't know, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway, and... Had a nice little nosy at some of this Simpsons merchandise from Vans. Uh, and this isn't even a chunk of what they've got. They've got so much on range. They've got more hoodies, socks and t-shirts. A uh, few more pairs of shoes like a uh, high top boot. Which has uh, the Tracy Ullman version of the characters. Versus the newer version. So one on each shoe. There's a uh, Lisa Simpson like baseball boots. There's... Marge, Patty and Selma shoes where you can feel the hair. There's some really, really cool stuff. So if you're a fan of The Simpsons, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, I'll be wearing all this stuff on a very regular basis. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.